guys, Reflex here, and this is going to be my third episode of my Arsenal career mode. Today I'm going to be playing two games, one now against Fulham, and the next game is going to be Tottenham in the Capital One Cup, which is a great game, just saying, <laughs> just saying it right now. Um, and to be honest, I'm looking not to lose any of them, because Fulham aren't that strong, but it turned out to be quite a test, but here early on. I'll try to cross it with Podolski and he gets blocked. Get a corner from it and I whip it in with Walcott. And just, yeah, Koscielny managed to take it in. It was quite a good goal. Oh, well, not really a good goal, but it was a good head. I don't really count corners as good goals in this game because, yeah, they're just too easy, to put it simply. But let's put us 1 0 up. And I can't remember why I watched this three times. Normally when I watch something. Something funny normally happens or something weird, but might have just been doing something. I will never know. But here, um, Tarat manages to beat me, and look at that head and that goalkeeping from Chesney. I was so disappointed. It was well played by Tarat, and a good ball in and a good head, but still getting scored on from there. Wow. I should never have conceded that. And then here they play a uh, throw boy over the top and Berbatov manages to do that and then I try to clear it and I should probably like held X but ugh, it's just speechless how it ended up going in like Chesney fumbling it and then sliding in and I was just so annoyed and then here Walker gets out on the wing I cut inside and look at that ball and the finish from Akpom great touch and what a finish I think it's his first goal for me mm, yeah I'm pretty sure I don't think he scored yet it's probably been what, a couple of weeks since my last episode, maybe. Hmm. Not too sure, but yeah, it's been quite a while because my editing software has been a bit screwed and I haven't really been able to do anything else. I don't know, it's weird. It let me do my pack opening that I recently done, but with my Road to Glories and my career modes, it's been saying there's an error with the um, with the videos or something. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but it let me do this now, so I should be able to do my Road to Glories and everything now. Which should be good, hopefully. I'll try it after, as soon as I finish voice doing this voiceover. And then, as you can see, um, Ozil with the client our contract offer. I can't remember what we offered him last time, to be honest. Um, we get an offer here for Arteta on loan, which I decided to take. Sent him out on loan. Um, and... The, uh, something mucked up after this game, or after the transfer window. Um, my game froze. Um, that's me offering as uh, another contract. But yeah, my game froze after the chance window, so I had to go back to the game that um, I had re most recently played. So some of the players I loaned out are still at my club, and some players that I didn't loan out um, are, are back. So yeah, I think I'll take ends up there, and I think I loaned out Sanya instead. It might be I got a different loan offer. But there you can see Ozil accepting um, our offer. But when I because I signed him, it went back to before that, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think it went back before that. Because my next game isn't until after the chance window. Oh, actually, maybe maybe the Tottenham game isn't this episode. I think it's Sunderland, if I'm right. Actually, I don't know. It might be Tottenham. This is me trying to find... Yeah, I'm showing the squad report this episode. It's like a few games in. I normally buy like FIFA... 13 standards a few games in, everyone would have went up quite a lot, but no one's went up in hardly anything. Like you saw, I think that was Gibbs had a few on him, and a few on Akpom, a little bit better, and then a few on Eastfield, he's went up and overall. Quite a few on Martinez, some on a semi had JE, Hector Bellerin's got some, Terrell's got quite a lot, probably because he's been in good form and he's young. Oh yeah, look, you can see the chance window's coming up before our next game. Um, so yeah, I had to end up giving Ozil a lot more on his contract when I had to sign him again. I had to keep going dashboard and going back because I wanted Ozil. Um, and it was, it was just a bit of order that got him the first time and I didn't get him again. So I ended up having to pay him like 250 grand a week. Oh, I sent Sanya out on loan as well on, on this one. I'm trying to, I might have sent out Flamini on loan or I might have already sent him out on loan. I don't know. We'll see like later on when I play a few games and we'll see who's on the bench and who's not on the bench, but someone definitely did get loaned out. Torino keen on signing Bentner. I remember seeing that. But I wanted to keep Bentner because he's probably better than Giroud on this game just because he's younger. He's like three years younger and he goes up quite quickly, Bentner, for some strange reason. 
And oh, oh, my next game is against Real Madrid. Oh, didn't know that. So I was completely wrong. At first I said Tottenham, then I said Sunderland, but it's, it's Real Madrid, so. Oh, I remember it now. Yeah, I remember this game. I've got uh, Real Madrid away in the Champions Cup, should I say. And they're top of the league, because I think I've drawn a game. Or maybe this is my first game in the Champions League. I don't know. But yeah, I decided to start um, my first game. You can see Ozil in there still. But, um, yeah, uh, Ozil, first game for me is against his old club. And it wasn't really a good start there, to be honest. They played Dean Maria through and on his right foot. He's managed to like, uh, hit in the front post. But straight away from the kickoff, um, they've gone a little run with Podolski. Put back into Wilshire. Put back outside to Podolski. <laughs> back into Wilshire. Cut, tried to cut inside, I got quite lucky, it got deflected off the two players, but great finish in the end from Wilshire. I have to admit that was pretty lucky. I, I cut inside and I think someone tackled me and it came off someone else maybe. Yeah, and then he knocked it back into my path and great finish. I think I just saw Rosicki in a Real Madrid shirt. I'm pretty sure it was Rosicki, maybe. Didn't notice at the time, but when I saw that it looked Quite a lot like Rosicki, so I might have learned him out. But as you can see there, um, they get a free kick for like it was a really light free kick as well, and they managed to score score from it. So we're now two one down, but quite late on in the game, in the 90th minute. It's rude. <laughs> I was going mental when I scored that because it had been like such a good game and so close, and I really didn't think I was going to get a point out of it. So I'm still unbeaten, I think. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure though. If we can hit 5 likes, I'll upload another episode. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.